Thank you everyone for taking the time to join us today. Of course, we are in the fundraising world. This is where we live. Uh, I am a licensed professional auctioneer. I founded Custom Benefit Auctions way back in 2004. And now we are a team and network of fundraising auctioneers serving clients all over the United States. And uh, for 2020, before, of course, the um, before the pandemic rolled in, we had about 150 live events scheduled. Now, if you're on this call and you're investigating finding a solution to raise money, well, I salute you because you are taking that first and most important step of realizing what is possible. And what is possible? Well, so far uh, since May 29th, we've raised over $5 million with virtual events. Why is that? Well, that's because donors are still very caring and they are committed. So if you are a fundraiser, and you need to lead with your mission, put your fundraising first, your donors will follow you. So we, of course, were very frantic. What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? And all of the early solutions were, of course, a multi-device situation. You got to log in here. You have to log in there. You have to use your phone for something or you have to use your, and anyway, sometimes that created a barrier for participation. When we were contacted by event.gibs, we immediately saw the enormous value. There is no need to pay for an expensive um, AV. You don't need anything extra. Everything that you need is within one platform pre-recorded videos and live. I'm coming to you from Clearwater, Florida. Florida, And by the way, I am washing my hands, wearing my mask, and so we're staying away from others. So, uh, so we have been blown away by how easy this is, how effective it is, and it is a blank canvas from which you can create any type of program you want to share your message. So, uh, of course, today we're going to jump right into it, which is live auction. We're going to do a fund -a need, of course, a mobile fund -a need. But before we begin the live auction, here's just a great tool. Pre-recorded video before you start your live auction. Let's show you a video of today's live auction. Here's our preview, Patrick. Let's take a look. Now, of course, you can simply create any video you like to introduce your item. Sometimes we've seen where you can have one item, then a video, one item and a video. It is completely up to you, easy to customize. Now, we're gonna get down to business with the live auction. I'm gonna open the very first item and I'm gonna give you these instructions like we would give your audience on your gala night. It is very easy to bid. We can see the opening bid is gonna be $2,000. All you have to do is click and hold if you're on a computer. Hover over there, click and hold to bid. Now I want you, this is, we don't have real money here. I want you to bid with Reckless Abandon. $2,000 is in, thank you very much, 2,000. Now who will go to $2,500? Here would it be 2,500, now would it be 25? You want to click and hold your screen, let you know Patrick's in there, 2,500. Who will go to three thousand dollars where would it be three jolly caddy thank you three thousand jolly you know what it means to win how good it feels let's go now thirty five hundred back in business at thirty five now would it be four thousand dollars we can tell the people who are bidding exactly who's bidding when they're bidding four thousand now forty five hundred jamie quinn is on board here fifty five hundred we love it jenna thank you at fifty five hundred dollars let's go here would it be fifty five now would it be fifty five hundred dollars here jenna is in the lead who will step up in their bid you've got to just feel the thrill of bidding right now. Jamie's in there at $6,000. Thank you, sir. Jamie coming in from North Carolina and now $6,500. Here, but he goes 65 to be 65 to be 65. I'm at six. Now Patrick's in there at 6,500. I love this. Kimberly is jumping in at 7,000. $7,000. Here, but it'd be 75, 75, 75, 75. Here, but he goes 75. There is no delay. You got to bid. Going once for 75. Jenna, thank you. Jenna bidding at 7,500. Now $8,000 where? $8,000. is at $8,000. Here would have been 8,500, now would have been 85. Victoria, look, you can click over there. There's a little bid board. Who are you bidding with here today? Who are you bidding with? Someone says, who's bidding against me? We never use that language. You never, Esther Tan, thank you, at 8,500. Now 9,000, you're bidding with one another to raise money right here. Imagine your number one bidders eager to participate. They want to be recognized. I'm at 8,500. Who will go to 9,000? I think we can go a little bit higher. If you've not yet bid, somebody jump in there and place a bid. $9,000 going once. Come on. Jamie's in there. Jolly's in there. Now we're going to $10,000. That's what I'm talking about. 10, but it'd be 10, 10, 10, 10,000 going once. 10,000. Who wants to swoop in there and get it at the last second? Final call for 10,000. And we have 
sold it. And guess what? At the last second there, Jamie Quinn, a veteran, a veteran of special events, a veteran of fundraising events. He knows how to bid and win. And <laughs> congratulations. We salute you. Okay. Now you are warmed up. You're ready to go. The next thing we want to do is open the very next item. Now, the next item, of course, is a 12-day glamping experience. And who doesn't want to be glamping? There is no more off-season. We're always in the in-season. So just let's get the bidding started. Remember, clicking and hold. What I also love is the bidders get notified on their screen. They're winning. There is no denying who they are. They know that they're in charge. And if you're not $5,000, Jamie's in there. Thank you, sir. Now, would it be $6,000? Where would it be $6,000? It's very important to be able to mention these names and removing any sort of delay. Victoria, this is real time bidding and action. We love it. $6,000 now would be 777 here. Would it go seven now would be 777,000 here. It's a blank canvas. You get to create the level of professional event that you want to have. I'm at 6,000 now would it go 777 here would it be seven now would it be $7,000 here. Now we've only got two bids. Uh, I know you all haven't gotten tired on me here. 7,000 going once. Let's go. $7,000 here would it go 777 now would it be 7,000 going twice. Patrick Bryant's in there at seven, eight thousand, nine thousand dollars. Thank you, Esther, for jumping in there. Nine thousand is the bid now. Would it be ten, ten, ten? Our last item got to ten. Wouldn't it be great if we raised twenty thousand dollars with tonight's live auction? Jamie's in there at ten thousand. So can we go a little bit higher? Eleven thousand dollars going once here, but to go give it a bit, able to buy eleven thousand, eleven thousand, eleven thousand going twice. Final call for eleven thousand. Are you all going to let Jamie win both of these? Final call for eleven thousand, and we have. Closed. Oh, 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 now you see, that's a perfect example. I said closed right there. The reason is some people are ninja fast at bidding. So at the final second, as I say closed, Jolly Caddy came in there with a winning bid. The reason this is important, once you say sold, of course, is that is confirming the sale. And so we say closed and look, she came in or Jolly's come in at the last second, excuse me, and won 11,000. So that's really that. It's so much fun. It's fast. It's efficient. You can still advertise those premier items where people can really generate big dollars in a very short amount of time. I mean, that's what live auction's all about. But of course, during these times, people are motivated to contribute. They're voted, they are, uh, they are motivated to give a collective gift. They just want to help you in some way. And while everyone cannot spend 10 to $11,000, everyone can and often will make a donation. So at this point, you know, in the, when you design your program, you would want to introduce a speaker. It could be a speaker, a someone from your organization. It could be a video pre-recorded. This is your mission moment. Now, since we are at 2051 here in the future, I'm going to throw this to our future uh, virtual uh, host who's going to introduce our mission moment. So here we go now, a message from our organization. Welcome to the event of the future. With event.gifts, you can host your virtual event and raise money in totally new ways. In the past, other bad software didn't allow for real-time and video bidding and donating. You can stream and attend from anywhere in the universe. Mars, the moon, and, of course, the Earth. Please support the event today and bid and donate. Your future self will be so happy. Thank you. Now, of course, we're obviously having fun with a futuristic uh, event, but if you have someone that obviously is very skilled at helping you create world-class videos, setting that mood so that the emotional energy is just right, that is what you need. And so if you have a person that's gonna tell a very, um, uh, emotional story, you can pre-record that. Pre-record that so they can have as many tries as they want so it sounds just right. And then when the time comes, you can play that emotional video. Then of course, just like every fundraising event we do, we have a chance for the paddle raise. So we're not in the room raising paddles, we're not in the room giving on our phones to a scoreboard, but we are giving together. And so just as you did with the bidding, you can make a donation on your phone. We'll open up, you can see right there, you can donate your own amount, or as many of you like to do, we guide the audience through different levels of giving. So let's pull up one level right now. Who would like to be the first person? And maybe we're gonna go, um, well, well, someone's already given, thank you, giving 2,500. You can give any amount you want, but who would like to give 5,000? Let's go with a $5,000 amount. We can just pull that up on the screen. You can see that, and I can see how much we're raising in the very, uh, Jamie Quinn at $5,000, Kimberly coming in at 15,000. I like it. $1,000 from Jolly. Victoria giving 500. 
Now look, this is what we love. You can see the name. Now collectively $30,000 has come in. Let's add a second level there, maybe a $3,000. You can design these. You can add any amount you want. Imagine as Esther Tan's giving a thousand, thank you so much. And Jen is giving 56,985. I like creative gifts that now, so we're 91,000. So imagine if you had matching money, we could simply pull up, let's pull up this third amount, $1,000. Can we get 10 people to give $1,000 to help us crush this $100,000 mark? Jamie's given $9, thank you. We're at 91,660. Let's get this to 100,000. Now we're at 94,000 and now let's go for 100,000. However, we have to get there. Enter your own amount, give 100, give 1,000, give five. Here we go, we're at 94,000. Keep on giving, refresh and let's go. Let's see, I'm seeing 94,660, Esther Tan's giving $3,000. Look at where we are, a big congratulations. You have done it, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing gift. Now, this of course is very abbreviated, but the important part of every fundraising, look at where we are, thank you for doing the math there, $100,000, $100. The most important part of every fund to need Number one is accurately describing the need that you have. And then number two, giving your guest an opportunity, a time, place, an opportunity to make an investment. And with this, everyone is on the same level playing field. Everyone can make a donation where they are compelled to give. And whether it's a small donation or a large donation, they are all part of our success. So I simply love it. I think it's the most effective way. And by the way, every time someone gives a million dollars, um, we've changed our minds. We will be charging your credit card. Jenna, thank you for one million dollars. We can put you on that uh, event.gives easy payment plan. So uh, we can just, we, we can collect that over many months. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, how fun this is now. I'm gonna do one more thing, uh, Patrick, if that's okay with you, because this question comes to us as fundraisers all the time. They wanna have a uh, dance competition where people are voting, or you wanna have teams. You know, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, of course, has gained a lot of momentum. So if we have Team Ben or someone else, you can vote right here. How about Team Marcus for Space Dancing? You know, someone does a great, and you're voting with dollars, of course. So right now, you can tap to vote. Just see what that would be like. Imagine team one versus team two. Imagine virtual survivor. Patrick, of course, giving 566. Thank you very much voting. Jamie voting with $10,000 because Jamie knows how to make it happen. All right. Esther Tan voting $10. Now, there's a lot of great things with this. So imagine you want to have a little a side party and uh, everyone is tasting bourbon and you can vote for which bourbon you love. I helped a school in North Carolina. They did Dancing with the Stars. No one was a professional dancer. People voted with dollars and at the end we revealed who received the most and it was spectacular. Everyone's got to see the total amount raised and what an impact it had. So you can see that voting is super effective. So what we haven't even covered today is that this site, when it's not in live broadcast mode, lives in a static mode where you can sell tickets, where you can host a silent auction. And all this, of course, would happen leading up to your live broadcast. And then when your live broadcast begins, your guests are not distracted uh, with the silent auction. All the focus is on live auction, on donation, or if you have voting peer to peer, this is the way we do it. So I wanna thank you for, it's been, of course, it's a pleasure. I, we love live auctions and it's been a pleasure to be with you. I wish you all the best in your fundraising efforts and I'm certainly grateful for event.gives for having me on uh, as their host today. So I'm gonna send it back to Patrick. Thank you. Thank you for all your bids, bidding activity, and thank you for all the work you're doing for the missions you serve. Patrick. Thank you so much. I'm sure all of you see how much we uh, love Ben Farrell and why, because he is absolutely fantastic at hosting uh, those different ways to raise money. And that's the whole goal. Now I'll show you a little bit of the magic behind the scenes here on this particular slide. I'm showing you the settings in the manager, uh, website that I was clicking. So as Ben was talking, I was keeping up with him and I was just clicking the buttons, but uh, it's very simple. So he talked about the donation levels. You had giving level number one and two and three, and we had pre put in those amounts. He could have in the fly said, oh, I want to do 2,222 because of a challenge that just came in and we could click the button and update those 
on the fly. Uh, and, but then also, it's just as easy to establish video streams. So now as we get into more of a technical side of the platform, uh, you just click that red connect webcam button and it will connect your webcam through your web browser on your laptop, on your mobile phone, on your tablet, whatever you use to do your uh, video webcam, that red button will connect to it and allow you to start a stream and that is identical to what Ben did today uh, to get established and uh, to, to do what he just showed you. Now on the other side there's a Quest RTMP endpoint and not to get too techy but that allows you to use software like the OBS software that I use to do my slideshow, to do uh, a grid view of multiple cameras, uh, to um, be able to uh, switch in between uh, those things live. Uh, so OBS is something more than a production company or uh, a little bit more sophisticated. But either way, the quality is fantastic and very, very uh, low, almost zero latency has been uh, showed. So pretty, pretty simple process there. The other tool that Ben was using today was the teleprompter slash in-room confidence monitor. And there's two points here. The first of which is uh, he was watching that and those uh, bids and donations were just flowing live on Ben's screen. And that's how he was able to call out without clicking around uh, buttons on the site. Uh, and he did a very artful job. But I also want to highlight the fact that we as a company envision hybrid events coming back very soon. There will be a time that we will have an event in person the way that we used to. But maybe last year we had 400 people at that event. And this year we're only going to have 200 people in the room or maybe even 20 people in the room or maybe even 10 rooms with 20 in each of them. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that we're working on. But I'll tell you our software is built for all of those. We envision that as your event pivots and changes to keep up with our current needs, our software is designed to do that. So a uh, fantastic live auctioneer like Ben can stand on a stage. They can take donations and bids and votes live from the room, but they can also watch that in-room confidence monitor and take them live from the virtual uh, uh, audience as uh, easily. So uh, that's how we envision the system being used. And as you're planning event for future months, we want to make sure you're thinking those tools and that we're giving you those tools. Our system is built totally around data. Our idea for you, the nonprofit, your data, is to track who came, what did they bid on, how much uh, you know, money are they willing to spend and donate. And one of the tools we use around that is our connection to BlackBaud's Razor's Edge NXT. I'm showing you here on this slide uh, how Ra Razor's Edge integrates with our system. But we also allow for import of items and export of user data so that you can connect to your other systems uh, that perhaps you've used in the past or your CRM that you need to push data to, to store or your accounting system. All of that, we export the data for you in a way that you can use it to uh, take it wherever it needs to go next. So with that, I'm going to uh, wrap up and switch over to doing a, a couple of questions uh, that have been tossed in. Uh, so I'll switch back to my camera and uh, like I said earlier, you know, there's a lot you can do with the, my OBS software uh, a lot around split screen and graphics and all those sorts of things. Uh, so uh, that was one of our questions. How do you, how do, you do that a split screen and can you have multiple uh, feeds going at the same time? Uh, and this is an example of that. Um, and then also, uh, I'll check in with Kelsey and see if there were any other questions today. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, uh, we did have a question I, I, I mentioned slightly before around hybrid events, but uh, we definitely have 
uh, tools in place and thought processes around how you'll sell your tickets and then check people in both in the in-person event that they are uh, showing up at a particular location. We had an event last uh, Sunday, uh, just a couple of days ago, that they were live in Seattle and they had 20 people together doing a uh, large uh, uh, paddle raise right there. Those VIPs were all together. But then they had another 200 people that were in the, visual, uh, the virtual universe uh, and they were donating and doing, participating in the bat paddle raise the same way that you did today. So we see a lot of opportunity for hybrid events where you're going to create creative and new things that we haven't seen yet, but our software allows you to work with both fluidly. Uh, so uh, with that, I, I'll wrap us up for today with this last note. We more than anyone are passionate about your nonprofit and helping you get the tools you need to raise money. And especially during this particular moment, we want to make sure that we are listening, changing, and open to the creativity of what you can do to engage your uh, attendees and supporters. So please reach out to us. Let us know how we can answer any questions. We'll leave the chat open for a little bit as you have them. Uh, or of course, you can use our support desk at any point to check in. And then finally, put on your to-do list to attend our virtual auction software demo next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. And then tomorrow, Thursday at 2 o'clock, we'll have our webinar around using the uh, manager to actually create and start working on an event. Thanks for joining us today and hope you have a terrific event season.